Hey everyone, Dr. Mike here. Today, we're diving deep into a topic that's been making headlines for a while now, COVID-19. Specifically, we're going to break down how this virus, which often starts with mild symptoms, can turn deadly. We'll uncover the science behind its attack on your body from the moment it enters your system to the potential for long-term complications. Understanding the severity of COVID-19 is crucial, so let's get informed. Picture this, you inhale tiny viral particles, so small you can't even see them. These are SARS-CoV-2, the virus responsible for COVID-19. They begin their journey in your nose and throat, latching onto cells with a specific protein called ACE2. Think of ACE2 as a doorway into your cells, and the virus has the key. Once inside, the virus hijacks your cell's machinery, turning them into virus-making factories. These new viral particles then burst out, infecting neighboring cells and multiplying rapidly. This process can cause inflammation and irritation, leading to the classic COVID-19 symptoms like a sore throat and runny nose. But the virus doesn't stop there. It can travel down your respiratory tract, reaching the lungs, where it can wreak havoc on your ability to breathe. As the virus sets up shop in your lungs, it triggers your immune system to fight back. This is where things start to get complicated. Your immune cells rush to the scene, releasing chemicals that cause inflammation. This inflammation is meant to help fight the virus, but it can also damage the delicate air sacs in your lungs called alveoli. Imagine your alveoli like tiny balloons that exchange oxygen and carbon dioxide. Inflammation makes these balloons stiff and less efficient, making it harder for your body to get the oxygen it needs. This can lead to shortness of breath, one of the hallmark symptoms of COVID-19. In some cases, the virus can also cause pneumonia, a serious lung infection where the alveoli fill with fluid. This makes breathing even more difficult and can lead to a drop in blood oxygen levels, a condition called hypoxemia. As pneumonia progresses, it can become severe, leading to a life-threatening condition called acute respiratory distress syndrome, or ARDs. In ARDs, the inflammation in the lungs becomes so severe that the alveoli are overwhelmed with fluid, making it nearly impossible to breathe. Imagine your lungs filling up with fluid like a bathtub overflowing. This is what happens in ARDs, and it's a medical emergency. People with ARDs often need a ventilator to help them breathe, as their lungs can no longer function properly on their own. ARDs is a critical turning point in COVID-19. It's at this stage that the virus's attack on the respiratory system can become fatal. In some severe cases of COVID-19, the immune system can overreact, releasing a flood of inflammatory chemicals called cytokines. This is known as a cytokine storm, and it's like the immune system pressing the panic button. Instead of just attacking the virus, these cytokines start attacking healthy tissues and organs throughout the body. This can lead to a cascade of complications, including damage to the heart, kidneys, liver, and brain. Imagine your body's defense system going haywire, attacking friend and foe alike. That's essentially what happens in a cytokine storm and it can be devastating. COVID-19 doesn't just attack the respiratory system, it can also wreak havoc on your cardiovascular system. The virus can directly infect the cells lining your blood vessels, causing inflammation and damage. This inflammation makes your blood more likely to clot, increasing the risk of heart attacks, strokes, and pulmonary embolisms, blood clots in the lungs. Imagine your blood vessels as a network of highways. COVID-19 can cause traffic jams in these highways by promoting blood clot formation. These clots can block blood flow to vital organs leading to organ damage or even failure. As COVID-19 progresses, it can create a domino effect, leading to the failure of multiple organs. The lungs, heart, kidneys, liver and brain are all vulnerable to damage from the virus itself, the immune system's overreaction, and the complications of blood clots. Imagine your body as a complex machine with each organ playing a vital role. When one organ starts to fail, it can put a strain on the others, leading to a cascade of failures. This multi-organ failure is often what leads to death in severe cases of COVID-19. So, there you have it. A detailed look at how COVID-19 can turn deadly. It's a complex virus that can affect the body in many ways, and its severity shouldn't be underestimated. Remember, knowledge is power. 
By understanding how this virus works, we can make informed decisions to protect ourselves and our loved ones. Stay safe, stay informed, and as always, stay healthy.